Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Ujard back again for the League of Legends video. Today we're going to be playing as Kale in the top lane. We are against Mordekaiser. Pretty easy matchup. He does have Ignite, so uh, I have to be somewhat careful with him in uh, um, what we want skirmishes. But honestly, as long as he pushes towards me, we're going to be good. Going to test out two items that I've been actually testing out a little bit. I think they're pretty strong. It's Death Dance and Phantom Dancer. Um, normally you want to build them after your three item spike. That's Gunblade, Ginzus, and Nasher and Nasher's Tooth. Oh, this guy's not here. But um, I'm, I I'm going to skip Ginzus this game. I mean Nasher's Tooth this game just to build them a little bit earlier. So I can show you guys. Because the problem is that if... I really don't go into the really late game. I'm not going to be able to show you guys the full build. This guy came very late into lane. I don't know if he tried to cheese something or if he just came late. But he's pretty behind in EXP. How you beat the Mordekaiser matchup, guys, is that you have to know his Q cooldown and his E cooldown. Right now, I know that his Q cooldown is back up, so I'm just gonna try and bait it. And now he doesn't have either Q or E. E. His E has like double of Q's cooldown, so you have to bear that into account. Right now, he has both abilities, so I'm trying to bait him. He's not really concentrating on attacking me, so I'm good. As long as he pushes towards me and we wait till level 6, it's gonna be a very easy matchup. Nice first blood by the Warwick there. It's gonna try and poke me under tower, probably. Yeah. I'm gonna max my Q. Maybe shouldn't have used my Q there, honestly. I use it so I can kite him out, but I know that Warwick's coming. I have my Q back, so. He has Ignite. I have to bear that in mind. He might try and turn. Oh, you're just dead. Gonna tell him to push. I really want this to go under tower. He doesn't have TP, so that's great for me, but I want to back with this under tower so it, backs, it bounces back to me. And great, I have enough for my uh, Vamp Scepter. Gonna build a little bit of a health potion. I, I really don't want to spend that much more on health potions. If I had enough for uh, boots there, I would have gone for them. Boots are really good on this matchup because you can evade his uh, abilities a little bit better. But I think Vamp Scepter was a lot better than Boots there. After level 6, the matchup is way, way easier. Mm, not gonna be able to help there, actually. I maybe can kill him here? No, Warwick has him. Try to make a play there, didn't work out, but I'm back with two lane and I didn't really lose that much, so. Honestly, with Dorian Shield and Vamp Scepter, he's not going to be able to uh, poke me out. All he can do to win this matchup is all in me after level 6 if he hits an E. Even then, if I'm full HP, it's really hard for him to kill me because of my ultimate. Yeah, all you have to do, guys, is learn his cooldowns and just try to evade every single skill shot. He's going to Q here. Mordekaisers normally just use their uh, abilities on cooldown because they don't have any mana. So he's going to Q here again. Exactly. Just bait their abilities and you're going to be really good in this matchup. You. Okay, level 6. 
Ja. Didn't close Oprah, so my FPS is are really low this game. I forgot. He is not level 6, so I can poke him out here. Gonna pot. I probably die here. I, I fucked up. Unless he misses his Q like that. Always when you're on his uh, shadow realm thingy. Oh, this is going to push towards me. I should just leave. I don't know where their jungler is. Yeah, I should just leave. When you're in his shadow realm and you're fucked. All you can do is try to evade his Qs. Like try and zigzag as much as you can. His Qs are really not that easy to hit. Dude, my team is... Uh... No, I'm going to buy boots. My team is- this guy is carrying- this guy is popping off so hard. That was kind of questionable by the Morgana, but I mean, he did, she didn't die, so I guess she's smurfing. Okay, I'm back to a full lane. This is exactly what I might want. I actually want to freeze this. Yeah, I'm going to hold this here. I'm going to use the wave, the bush here, so I don't get that much damage from the minions and fail miserably at it. But if he doesn't come and push this, he's going to lose on a ton of minions. going to actually ward. Fucked up my ward. I, I wanted a ward here. He lost one entire minion wave. He's really not coming. I don't know if he's afraid of Warwick or something. But he's not pushing the, the wave right now. I'm just going to push it in. Okay. He used both of his abilities, so I'm good for like 5 seconds. Again, he just completely shoved that in, so it's again frozen towards my side. This is exactly what I want. As long as he doesn't hit his E, I'm in a very good spot. I can continue to poke him out with my Q. He has his E back, so I have to be careful. If he E's, he's just going to ult me. I have my ult so I don't die. Unless I fuck up. If you're inside uh, Mordekaiser's ultimate with your ult. Just try and time your ult when he's going to Q. And uh, you are not going to die of your full health. He misses E so I'm good. If he misses his E you're good. Yeah he's really low. Could have probably dived him but. If I trade one for one it's not worth it there. He has ignite, so he's not gonna have to. He's not gonna have TP to come back to lane. Gonna try and see if I can stop his back again. Yeah. Just because I stopped his back there, he's gonna be missing on a lot more. Gonna grab some plates. They're absolutely free. This guy doesn't have TP, and uh, their jungler is Owen too, so. You could just go rip thrilled, honestly. It's 100% worth it if he, if he uses rip hurled there. I'm his win condition, so he should use it there, but I don't know. Honestly, really good. I have 1500 gold right now. I don't have enough, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna guys a little bit of attack speed. I stood way too long in the lane, so this guy's gonna push this wave in. I'm gonna lose some minions probably. Yeah, I'm gonna lose some minions, but uh, I think it was worth it. We got two plates off that, and this guy lost so much because of the uh, not having TP. If you don't have TP and you fuck up your lane, you're not gonna win the game, guys. 
gonna probably be E me here. E? Yeah. You're not gonna win that, dude. Again, guys, if he does not hit his E, he can't kill you. It's somewhat like a Lowie. If she doesn't hit her E, she can't kill you. That's why this um, matchup is so easy. Because um, it's really hard to hit abilities on ranged champions because um, skill shots on ranged champions, since they're on range, they actually have to throw them on a very like very accurately to hit them and also kill is not easy to hit skill shots on because she has a lot of move speed both from her w and her exalt when she's exalted she gets extra move speed i have enough for gunblade uh next wave is not a cannon mini wave i'm not gonna go back if that was a cannon mini wave i was gonna back 100 percent Doesn't have Q, but he does have E. He doesn't have ultimate, actually. Yeah, I should I shouldn't be afraid of this guy. Yeah, he's not gonna do anything. I don't know exactly what his ultimate cooldown is. He might have it now. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna push this in and go back. This guy still has Rift Thrill. He should have used it before. He's trying to E me so he can ult me, but I'm not going to give it to him. That's free. Awesome. We got first blood tower. We got a lot of plates. Uh, I don't know where their jungler is, but I'm not really that afraid of him. I'm gonna take this and back, honestly. I have way too much gold. Okay. Gonna finish my gun blade and go directly into Phantom Dancer. Check in bot just in case I have a TP play. But honestly, I shouldn't really go unless something happens because I really don't want to waste my TP. I just want to go topside and farm up as much as possible. Right now, I have a ton of attack speed and a ton of move speed because of my items. I'm level 11. This guy can't beat me, even if he ults me. Yeah, as I said guys, try to time your ult when he's gonna Q and uh, he can't really kill you. I was pretty close, but honestly I was level 11, so he's just not gonna kill me, even, even with Ignite. It was kind of close because I forgot he had Ignite, honestly. I am the light and the glory. I'm gonna place a ward here. So why these two um, items actually work? It's because they're gonna make me extremely, extremely tanky. And very hard to focus in late game. Again, guys, I normally just will uh, build them after my core items. That's uh, Gunblade, Nasher's Tooth, and Ginsu's. But I'm building them really early this game to show them off to you guys. Uh, I might have a play here with Gunblade. Nice. Yeah, these are diamond players, by the way. Mm. We can pro. Oh, I'm fucked. This guy's literally AFK. <laughs> he was checking this side. He was not panning his um camera here, dude. What? Uh, six is dead, 100%. He can't escape.
They might surrender. I hope they don't. I really want to uh, finish my two items. Seraph is going top, so I, there's no reason to back right now. I'll just take uh, mid for him, and we're good. He should have went top a little bit earlier, but I mean, he's going now, so doesn't really matter. When you're mid lane, guys, and you see your top laner in bot, and you know that your jungler is not there. I mean, your mid laner is not there. Just try and go top for your top laner. It's going to help you out a ton, unless you can help out in bot or something. Then you, then you can just let your top laner just go top. This guy's dead. I'm going to start Rip Thrilled. Dragon's going to spawn in 40 seconds. You can evade uh, Rip Thrilled's attacks, guys, by the way. When he tra charges an attack, you can just evade it like this. And it's not going to hit you. That's exactly what Warwick did there. Honestly, Warwick doesn't really need to do that because he has like insane lifesteal. But um, it's just a good habit to have, honestly. They have a ton of disengage with um, Saya and Janna. Honestly, this is a free uh, Drake. Let's go, Drake. Nice Sonyas, dude. Gonna mute everyone. Everyone's being like all chatty, so gonna evade that. Uh, again, honestly, you want to build this item first, guys. This item is completely broken. Mm, gonna sell my Dorian shield. Dorian shield is not good in the late game, so there's no reason for me to have it. You always want to build this item first, unless you have like some type of um life steal. But I do like I already have gunblade, so the extra life steal is not really gonna do that much. This item is just so good to let you survive. Makes you really tanky. In my opinion, it's one of the best items in the game, but it's really underrated. I've normally had more attack speed, but since I'm not building uh, Nashers into Ginsu's, I'm pretty slow. Eighteen hundred. Whoops. I had my fingers uh, on other keys. Yo, this Warwick's really fed. Uh, I fucked up. I have no ultimate. I'm just gonna kite him out for my ultimate. That's the power of Phantom Dancer. <laughs> yeah, who needs QSS when you have Phantom Dancer? I fucked up everything there i should have died there a hundred percent i have enough for my item i'm just gonna back now you're really hard to kill with just phantom dancer it gives you move speed it gives you the uh shield but with this it's going to be really, really hard to kill you. Just imagine you have uh, Nashor, Stoop, and Ginsu. So you're just going to do a ton of damage either way. And these two items do a lot of damage. Um, remember, guys, that crit is very good on kill. Because your waves, when you're exalted, your waves can actually crit. So crit is not a bad item on kill. It's not a bad stat on kill, I mean. Look, I'm going to show you guys. That little wave can crit. I'm hitting 67, but I can sometimes hit a little bit more. Mm. I want to just go into their entire team and see how tanky I am. I'm just I'm not going to catch her. I really need attack speed. I am 
I actually want to see how tanky I am. I'm going to limit test, guys. I'm going to try and int. Just to test it out. I do have a ton of sustain, though. Look at that. 122? I'm full health already. That's just insane. As I said, I still do a ton of damage. I didn't even proc my PDA there. And I'm really hard to kill. I'm going to test out these items a lot more, guys. On my main with, like, uh, the regular build. Uh, see how good it is. But honestly, it's showing a ton of promise. I'm full health again. I should be split pushing, but I honestly literally just want to just go in. Okay, got Jaina's ultimate. I'm not scared of Kane because of how tanky I am, but honestly, I don't have my shield, so... I fucked up. I'm dead here. Unless I flash her little feathers. Yeah, she's not going to be able to kill me. One of the bad things about uh, Saya is that she's one of the few ADCs that if you just run from her, she can't really do it that much. She doesn't have anything to chase you. It'll be build my boots. I really want attack speed. Gonna go... Honestly, I'm not gonna go Nasher's Tube right now. I'm, I, I will build it if this game goes that long. I, I don't think so. Gonna build the Ginsu's first. This stage of the game, Ginsu's is a lot better than Nasher's Tube. I really want to limit test this. I want to go like against three people to see how good it is. This guy's trying to make a cheesy play. I should be split pushing 100% by the way guys. Just to get level 16. Yeah, you're not going to win. I do way too much damage. I have no ultimate right now. Dude, I just healed my whole health again. This sustain is insane off this build. Level 15? Notice that they don't really want to focus me either. They know I'm really tanky. Limit test? I really want to int. Dude, that tower does no damage. Okay. I haven't even used my shield yet. Look at that sustain, dude. Holy shit. That's the other thing, you're gonna um, save a lot of mana, not using your W in the late game to heal up. I really want to int. I know that there's three people top, but honestly, I'm really not that afraid. I'm just trying to um, make them waste time so my uh, team can get Baron for free. Oh, I fucked up that. I fucked up really hard. Okay. That's a free Baron. We should just end the game, honestly. I'm just trying to troll to see how good this build is. But honestly, I really like it. Because one of the things about late game kill is that if you get caught by CC or something, you're gonna die. This actually makes you a little bit uh, tanky. Try this with overheal next. Actually, overheal might be really good with this build. I might try that. I 
I'm already full health again. Ulted there just to um, not get one shot. It honestly, I'm not gonna get one shot by this guy. He's 0 and 7. I'm really tanky. There was no need to ult there. I just got really spooked out because Blue Kane is a scary. I literally tanked the uh, tower and I don't care. Just have so many resistances. 99 and 79. Pretty good for a ranged character. You still do a ton of damage. Look at that damage, guys. Again, I'm trying to limit test, so... Literally limit testing. I really want to see how good this is. But honestly, it just feels awesome. Gonna... Uh, can't finish my games. Just... Gonna try this out, this build out a ton. And see if I can uh, change my spreadsheet. Because I haven't really changed my runes and build spreadsheet in a long time. Well, before the rework. Because I really didn't know what was the best after the rework. Yeah, this game is over. Just gonna TP top and end the game. Honestly, it's just GG. I, I don't really need any more inhibitors. Oh, GG. Honestly, a very fun game. 